so as I promised, uh, I'm going to do a video today about the storm coins and the uh, best ways to spend them. Right, and I'm also going to talk about the box things you can buy. That's like I said, so I'll probably buy a few of those early on. But uh, So after doing all these quests, you'll get a bunch of storm coins. Uh, I actually got a bunch of coins from my guild knights and I bought the smallest package just so I could get the... Because I was like a few thousand emeralds short to get the buy 70,000. So I wanted to get my special frame. I might never use it, but I'm very thorough on collecting this kind of stuff. So, the Chaos Treads frame. That's actually a cool looking frame. Look at that one. That one's cool looking. Boom. Yeah, no, that's a nice looking frame. But I've uh, got to stick with a frog frame. Because that one's harder to earn. Not as many people have that one. So, we'll go with this one. Um, but yeah, so... Right, things you can buy. So the Storm Legacy. I'll probably buy a few of those here in a second just to kind of show you what's in them. You can see what's in them. Uh, you have the Pet Soul Chest. So each of these you can get a, choose a Pet Soul. So I'll actually uh, show you what that looks like because I have some in my inventory. Right, so Pet Soul Chests. Right, you use it and you just select the pet you want and you'll get five of whichever soul for each chest. So if you had a hundred of these, you can get 500 Pet Souls of that particular pet. So... You know, that can get you, like I said, a couple, like if you're still, like if your pets are still like two or three stars, whatever, that, like I said, you can spend your coins to get a uh, pet to like a, uh, to the next like a level, like so you could get them to like a uh, four star or whatever. So that's uh, an option, it's definitely an option. Uh, the gems, so these are kind of pricey for gems, I mean, that's a lot to spend for gems, right, because you can actually buy the gems. For the sanctuary, if you don't have the gem, you can actually just buy it, right? Whatever level, like if you've, so long as you've completed uh, the specific level, um, like I said, after you've completed high enough adventures, you can buy gems. Right? I said, it's like all the gems are buyable now. There was a time when you couldn't buy the flawless gems, but that that's that's past. The flawless gems, do I have flawless gems? There was a time when you couldn't buy those, but they added that to where you can buy those now too, so... Right, so I probably wouldn't buy a lot of gems unless you really need them. Like, you can't, like, you're trying, you need the Tale of Evolve and you haven't beat the higher level adventure yet and you can't do it yet. The maybe buying a couple of gems is worth it, but for the most part, I think you're probably best off spending pestle chests and maybe these uh, pet legacies or the storm legacy things. So, we're going to buy a few of these. This might be where I spend all my things because I actually do have a lot of, because all my pets are already absolute stars, so. So we'll see what's in these. So we'll buy 23. Let's see what we got in these Storm Legacies. Storm Legacy. Ooh. So these are like demon dolls. Okay, you could do an egg. Get pet potions, gold. Okay. Eggs are good though. Eggs are a very good item. Uh, you can, so... It's a grab bag of stuff. Uh, this is Storm Legacy. There you go. Get um. Not sure. These seem like they might be okay. They're, I mean, 50 pet potions is not a lot, though, and that's what the most common item is. So that's pretty meh. But, uh, and then you get gold, which I don't need anymore. Gold's pretty much a worthless resource when you get my gold, but these eggs are very valuable. One egg's worth about 250 emeralds, so that's a very good uh, pickup, so... It's kind of mixed, but eggs seem common enough that this might be worth it. On the other hand, an egg's only worth, like, uh... Three petzels, so you're probably better off just buying the petzels because these were seven fifty each, which is kind of pricey. So there you go. That's like hundred seventy five emeralds. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm kind of yawning a bit. Apparently, I'm tired. It's getting kind of late. So I should have recorded this earlier. Got to using doing other things and just didn't get quite to it yet. All right. 
right. Okay, so these are kind of meh. For seven fifty each, I mean, you can get a guaranteed five petzels, the one you want. For just two, like I said, I just, I think that's, I think, uh, so I think these are probably your best bet, right? I mean, these are pretty bad if you already have all your pets absolute star. Like, I mean, I'm probably going to spend them all on pet legacies because that's just kind of, I mean, where I am value wise. I mean, like I said, I can open these, pop these eggs and get some chaos particles. It's kind of like chaos particles are the main thing I need. Right, because they're all absolute star. I mean, you can buy buy stuff for every day for chaos, like the for coins. But it's like I said, like you can spend arrows reset. But uh, I think that's a bad for use of emeralds to so just buy them daily. But uh, I haven't popped all my eggs in chests because it's you just don't get a lot of coins. And I'm kind of like at some point they might add more pets, so I'm kind of just saving them for that, so I don't have to spend quite as much on the actual pet event when it's introduced. Right, I can just wait a couple months. Like maybe I get it to five star during the event and wait a couple months and get to absolute star or something unless it turns out unless I end up being like a must-have pet or something in which case maybe I'll do it but uh you know it's well seen so I would say for most people like unless all your pets are absolute star you probably want the pet soul chests and maybe a couple of these jewels but these are kind of I feel like these are overpriced right and honestly these are probably some of the best that's left uh, if you can open a few more of these, kind of see where we're getting. But uh, this is probably where I'm going to spend all my coins. Like, let's just open a few more of these and... Do, do, do. I mean, I'm getting some chaos particles. Yeah. These are pretty meh. So this event, like I said, this is a really good event if you're still off into pets. It's kind of meh for me, but we'll see. I, I've heard someone said there is like a unique in these, so I'm definitely going to be fishing for that. Unless I pulled it already and without noticing it, which we can check in a second. Uh -huh. Oh, that was a nice pull. Some chaos particles. And when you're getting eggs and particles, these aren't bad, but that's not what usually. Usually you're getting like 100k gold or 50 pet potions, which are pretty measly prizes. Like that. Like you're getting prices like that. Those are just awful. Like the egg's good, but the rest, meh. So... Anyway, that's kind of uh, what's in those things and what I recommend to do with your coins, right? Like I said. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.